absorb it. Shri Raman Raja Khanna Sir. Easy going and decisive Shri Vijay Kumar Gulati Sir. Our passionate and persistent principal ma'am. Mrs. Deepa Khanna ma'am. Our self-disciplined and diligent academic director Mrs. Renu Srivastava ma'am. Our dynamic and enthusiastic headmistress Ms. Shivani Tripathi ma'am and all our respectable coordinators present here. I welcome all the parents who spread some time for us from their busy schedule. I also welcome all my teachers and all my dear friends for joining and motivating us. Thank you. Better environment, better tomorrow. Natural resources are the blessing of Mother Nature that has provided us with abundant elements to make our life comfortable and prosperous. Here we are going to present an exhibition by students of class 1st, 2nd and 3rd named Conserve to Preserve. It will showcase the description, depletion and conservation of the resources so let us begin our journey with the student of class first Arvik Singh he will shed light on the description of natural resources thank you thank you Asta all matter is composed of five elements Panch Mabutas which inherit the properties of earth, water, fire, wind and space Earth symbolizes everything that is solid, water, liquid, air, gaseous, fire or energy transforms solid ice into water and finally to gaseous state. Oil, coal, natural gas, metal, stone and sand are natural resources. Other natural resources are air, sunlight, soil and water. So under the light of the five element, let us have a glimpse of our natural resources, what we get from them and why and in what ways are they important to us. Out of the eight planets of our solar system, only our planet Earth has life in it. Earth provides air, food and water to sustain life. The beauty of our planet lies in the fact that it is home to a large variety of plants and animals. For these reasons, it is also called a unique planet. Our Earth also contains natural sources like soil, minerals, fossil fuels, forest and wildlife. That my coming friends will discuss one by one. Soil are life support system there are various kind of soil clay silt peat and loam clay soil is used to make bricks and pots it holds water and nutrients soil also purify water which is used for drinking and farming we can see a tom, termites and ants that live in soil our earth is full of rocks and minerals the most abundant mineral in earth's crust is silica that is silicon dioxide also called as sand about 200 minerals like mica zinc bauxite gold silver etc make up the bulk of most rocks Gold, silver, diamonds, etc. are used in making jewelry. Copper is used to make coins and pipes. Aluminium obtained from bauxite is used to make airplanes, utensils, etc. Fossil fuels like coal, crude oil and natural gases. That can be burned for energy. These shoes are formed from the buried remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. These shoes have a 
high carbon content. Once burned, these cannot be reused as fuel. About 31% of the land surface is covered with forest. These forests are home to various species of plants and animals. Forest dry clean water, air, wood, etc. and are economic resources also. People also go in forest for irrigation and to study the plants and animals. The plants and animals living together are interdependent on each other for food, shelter, etc. Our forests have plants like rubber, banana, bamboo, cacao, ferns, orchid, etc. Plants use carbon dioxide and release oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. Plants are primary source of food for animals. They give us fruits, vegetables, spices, medicines, rubber, wood, etc. They give living beings oxygen to breathe and bone to stay. Our deserts, forest, rainforest, plains, grasslands all have distinct wildlife. Rainforests are home to large variety of animals from jaguar, orangutan, monkeys, birds, to small cats, snakes, frogs, and insects. There are as many animals under our water bodies as they are above it. Fishes, turtles, sharks, jellyfish, octopus, etc. are found in rivers, sea and oceans. Our Earth is the only planet that has water. About 75% of the Earth is covered with the water. And that is why it is also called Blue Planet. Water exists in three forms with solid, liquid and gaseous. All plants and animals need water to survive. Water is used for drinking, cooking, cleaning, agriculture, etc. Falling water when captured and turned into electricity is all is hydropower. It is the most commonly used renewable source of energy and it does not create pollution. Water acts as a universal solvent because most of the substances that are easily dissolved in water. There are two types of liquid water, salty and fresh, rain and snow are the main sources of fresh water on our earth. The other sources of water are ocean, sea, river, lakes, wells, etc. It wonders me how two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen gases join together and make liquid water. Air is present everywhere around us. We cannot smell it if it is not blowing. We cannot taste it also. Still, air cannot be felt. Do you know, air does not have any shape. It takes shape of the object it fills in. It becomes round when filled in balls and balloons. When filled in tire, it takes its shape. And so on, oxygen present in air is essential for burning and breathing. Air is a mixture of gases. The air in Earth's atmosphere is made by aphox, 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, plus 1% are carbon dioxide and argons and other gases. Oxygen present in air is needed by living things for breathing. Carbon dioxide released during the process is used by plants for photosynthesis. Wind. It 
price of the clothes fast and sells the boat. Have you seen colorful kites flying in the sky? On the special day, have you wondered what makes them fly? It's the fast blowing air. Last but not the least, wind energy is used by wind means to generate electricity. This form of electricity does not create pollution. Everything that we see above when we are outdoors is called a sky. On a clear day, sky above us looks blue and we see white clouds. On a cloudy day, we see dark clouds that often result in raining. Sometimes we also see rainbow with seven colors in the sky after some little rain shower. On a clear night, the sky is full of stars and looks like thousands of fireflies. We see sun in the sky during the day and moon and stars during the night. There are millions and billions of stars in the sky. The collection of millions of stars is called galaxy. The name of galaxy is Milky Way. The sun is also a star. It looks bigger and brighter than any other stars in our earth closest to it. The sun is the center of our solar system. And all the planets revolve around the sun. It is a huge ball of fire. Is not it incredible that the sun is shining since the last four and a half billion years and will continue to shine for next five billion years. Though the sun is far from us, Light takes only 8 minutes to reach the earth. Energy from the sun helps the plant to grow that provide the food and oxygen to the living things on earth. Fact is very important. It maintains the earth temperature and water level. Without it, earth would be too cold. Sun energy is used as solar energy. Solar energy is used in generating electricity charging batteries. So friends, we know more that the natural sources, air, water, sun, all those and the soil are used for the benefit of mankind. But we need to use the resources wisely. Now my plan of class second, some new Kaluya. We draw on what happened when we overuse our natural resources. Thank you. Thank you, Keshav. This was such a valuable information. Natural resources are central to human well-being. We cannot live without the clean air we breathe, the plants we eat or the water we drink. We need them to survive and to thrive. Mother Earth has provided us with so many varieties of natural resources. She has given us enough to satisfy our needs. But we as human beings fail to understand its value. Instead, we wanted more and more. So we started to exploit the natural resources in various ways. Let us listen to our friends about how we are destroying our environment and causing harm to ourselves. These are cut down so the wood can be burned or used to make other things such as building furniture or paper. Large areas of trees are moved so that the land can be used to grow crops 
और वो वाइट ग्लेसेस वो फार्म वेयर फार्म एनिमल्स एंड ग्लेस फॉरेस्ट आर क्लियर इन ऑर्डर टू प्लांट क्रॉप्स एज कॉफी रबर ट्रीज और पाम ट्रीज द लॉस ऑफ ट्रीज एंड अदर वेजिटेशन आर कॉजिंग क्लाइमेट चेंज डेजर्टिफिकेशन सॉइल इरोशन फ्यूअर क्रॉस फ्लडिंग इंक्रीज ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज इन द एटमोसफियर डिग्रीडेशन ऑफ सॉइल क्वालिटीज ट्रिगर्ड बाय द रिमूवल ऑफ द टॉप सॉइल लेयर the trees hold on to the top soil with their roots when deforestation occurs the trees are either cut down or uprooted now let's talk about mining and fishing of minerals metals and sand because of mining mining is the extraction of valuable minerals or other materials from the earth for example coal diamond gold petroleum natural gas are supply of from mineral resources is in danger many mineral deposits that have been located and that have been depleted as the ore from minerals like aluminum and iron become harder to find and extract their prices skyrocket sand mining is the extraction of sand mainly through an open pit or sand pit sometimes sand is extracted from beaches or dumps to from ocean and river bed sand mining is a direct cause of erosion and impacts the local wildlife various animals depend on sandy beaches for nesting mining has led to the near extinction of gharias the species of crocodile in india the moral of barrier such as dam sometimes lead to flooding of beachside communities this lead to the destruction of beautiful beaches causing harm to tourism industry now let's discuss about oil depletion oil was formed in the geological past and due to its continuous use it is on the verge of depletion Oil depletion is the decline in oil production of a well, oil field, or geographic area. Oil provides forty percent of traded energy, ninety percent of transport fuel, and is critical for agriculture. Oil depletion is causing the scarcity of fossil fuels, which takes millions of years to replenish themselves. Its depletion will not only impact the environment, but will also have an adverse effect on humans to meet the necessities thank you to the environment and the health of all living creatures exposed to the radiation from the leak when a radioactive leak happens people and animals in the immediate area have an increased risk of cancer plants exposed to radiation can also become radioactive and once animals eat these plants this radioactivity enters the food chain poaching is the illegal hunting killing of animals people poach because and a product such as high ivory horn teeth and bones are sold to dealers who make clothes jewelry and other materials from them people target big gold breeders and big horn sheep and dealers for their medicine properties friends while it poaching has lots of adverse effects on local communities while like what Relations, climate, ecosystem, biodiversity, and the environment as a whole. The Earth is currently home to 7.6 billion people, and some argue that we are fast reaching to the point where the planet can no longer support the number of people living here. There is only a finite amount of land that can provide food, and limited supplies of fresh drinking water and energy resources to go around. The number of people living and their demand of luxuries are already putting a strain on earth resources. This population explosion is likely to have a negative effect on planet earth.
Now we will discuss about industrial waste and oil spills. One of the most devastating effects of industrial waste is water pollution. For many industrial processes, water is used which come in contact with harmful chemicals. These chemicals may include harmful metal or radioactive materials. If the waste water is discharged without treatment, lakes, streams, rivers and coastal water can be polluted. It may have serious impact on human health and the environment. The pollutant may destroy habitat for animals and plants. Oil spill from ships can pollute streams, rivers if it soaks through the soil, rock and groundwater. Oil is toxic and harmful to the plants and animals and a threat to their habitats. Oil pollution can have a devastating effect on the water environment. It spreads over the surface in a thin layer that stops oxygen getting to the plants and animals that live in the water. In the ground and soil, oils cover or kill the organisms which are necessary to maintain the environmental balance. Oil-covered birds are a universal symbol of environmental damage wreaked by oil spills. Oil spills can disrupt migratory patterns by spoiling areas where migrating birds normally should. The World Wide Fund for Nature reports that the amount of pesticides sprayed on fields has increased 26 fold over the past 50 years. Farmers around the world are increasingly using pesticides to protect their crops from being destroyed by pests. Unfortunately, however, many pesticides also harm and kill species that are not targeted at. When it rains, these pesticides are also washed away from the field that are intended for and limit surrounding landscape river frequencies. Now let us talk about global warming. Global warming is the unusual increase of temperature in the Earth's surface. Deforestation Use of vehicles, industrial development, agriculture are the few factors responsible for global warming. Carbon dioxide is released by burning of coal and natural gas. It traps heat in the atmosphere. Global warming has led to a change in climatic conditions. Global shift the climate leads to the loss of habitats of plants and animals. In this case, the animals need to migrate from their natural habitat. Many of them have become extinct. This is another major impact of global warming and biodiversity. Acid rain is a broad term that is often used to describe several forms of acid deposition when coal and petroleum are burned in automobiles, electric power plants and factories. They release certain harmful gases. When the water in the air comes down as rain, sleet, hail or snow, it carries these gases with it known as acid rain. Acid rain is affecting us in many ways. Acid rain causes direct damage to leaf or plants. Secondly, it damages fresh water life which decreases the fish population. It removes basic nutrients such as calcium from the soil. Friends, you must have observed that we are not able to see stars during the night in metropolitan cities. Astronomers explain that it is not just smoke from vehicles or factories that affects the visibility of stars, but also the presence of light pollution, which is caused by too many artificial lights used in major cities, be it of vehicle or street lights. These lights reflect into the night sky, making it unable for us to see the stars clearly. As compared to the past, cities are working day and night, which is causing the night sky to seem blurry. Thoughtless behavior, but vandalism can cause a huge scar on the environment. Forest fires often occur naturally in the heat of summer, but they have also been known to have been started by vandals, resulting in acres of forest being burned to the ground. K 
killing and poisoning wildlife and destroying their habitats. We all are aware about five Amazonian forests. Rainforestries are especially vulnerable because fire is new to the Amazon and trees have not developed fire resistance. A rainforest fire burning through the forest kill more small trees and seedling and can kill 50% of large trees which can increase rot and climate change. But let us not despair over what we have lost. We have understood the immense requirement of conserving our nature as on survival and to live it as a better place for the coming generations. Now my friends, we let us know about the different measures being taken by people all over the world to save our environment. Now my friend, Somia of class 3rd will continue the program. Thank you, Adir. Depletion of natural resources is very really harmful to earth and its inhabitants because of its overuse. However, they are exploited by humans for economic gain. We will have a shortage of them if we do not conserve them properly. Natural resources are getting scarce with the increasing population so it is essential to conserve them. There is a quote given by M. S. Swaminathan. If conservation of natural resources goes wrong, nothing else will go right. Natural resources are something that occurs naturally from the earth. All the things that we need for survival are food, water, air and shelter which comes from natural resources. Some of these natural resources are renewable while some are non-renewable. Now, let's talk in detail about the conservation of these resources. As human beings, it is our basic duty to care for the planet that we call our home. Natural resources such as air, water, soil, minerals, fuel, forest and wildlife. Saving our earth and its environment becomes highly important as it provides us food and water to sustain life. We can all plant a sapling each year, then the earth will be filled with nearly 7 billion trees in one year. We can form groups and participate in awareness campaigns. We can save fossil fuel by sharing our car and cutting the uses of electricity. Global warming is a solvable environmental problem. If we people choose renewable source like wind energy, solar energy over fossil fuel, then the worst effect of global warming can be avoided. Forest also to be conserved as there are increasing deforestation activities. The cutting of trees should be regulated in order to control forest fire latest Firefighting technique should be adopted. Wildlife is a very vital part of our ecosystem. In order to conserve wildlife, we must reduce habitat destruction by planting native trees. We should support volunteer program to rescue wild animals, prevent wildlife trafficking, developing national park, wildlife sanctuary to protect the animals. Seventy-one percent of earth is covered with water, but this water is undrinkable as it is salty. Water is an essential component for survival on earth. Water conservation is careful use and preservation of water supply. It includes both the quantity and quality of water utilized. 
The need to conserve and save water is essential. We as individuals should impose some strict water saving initiatives such as rainwater harvesting which is the process of storing and collecting the rain that we get due to precipitation for future use. Similarly, roof water harvesting and recycling of water should also be facilitated. Other methods of conservation of water are reducing water pollution and fair use of water should be taken care of. Educating students about how to save water in school is essential and spreading knowledge about its value is must. We already know that there are many ways to save water. We should reduce the amount of water we daily use for various activities like bathing, laundry, watering plants, etc. Install canals on your rooftop so that rainwater can be reused for household purposes. Air is among one of the important components that all living beings need for their survival. Earlier, the air which we breathe was used to be fresh and pure. But due to increase in industrialization, the air is getting more and more toxic day by day. Although the level of air pollution has reached a critical point, there are still ways of which we can and reduce the number of air pollutants. Use of eco-friendly fuel such as LPG, CNG, biogas to be adopted, strict policies for the industry to the filter of gases to be introduced, reduce the use of vehicles and try to practice carpooling, car sharing etc. The quality of air can be improved by planting more and more trees. As they clean and filter the air, we should use paper bags instead of plastic bags. Practice of no cracker should be implemented to reduce air pollution. Sky is an envelope where all planets are enclosed. It is a blanket of gas which we also call as atmosphere. Common things that we see in the sky are clouds, raindrops, sun, moon, stars etc. We all need a healthy atmosphere the future which we want. The sun is the source of every energy that exists in the world. The sun's rays feel nice, warm and good for us as we get vitamin D from it which is good for our bones. World Ozone Day is celebrated on September 16. Every year to spread awareness about ozone depletion. The ozone layer is the Earth's natural sunscreen. It is present in two layers of the atmosphere. It absorbs Ultraviolet radiation from the sun, which are dangerous to many living organisms on the earth. We can protect the ozone layer by avoiding consumption of dangerous gases and minimizing the use of cars. Cleaning products harmful to the environment should not be used. And it is our social responsibility to protect and take care of nature. Human can't think of their life fullest, so we need to rationally use these natural resources to maintain the environment and secure our future. Natural resources are present for the creation. The rational use of natural resources maintains the Earth's atmosphere. We must contribute to the preservation and conservation of the valuable resources that nature has bestowed upon us. So, the nation behaves well. If it treats natural resources as assets, 